Paris. What's the boo? Gang? What's up, Taurus? What's up, booze, baby? What's going down in the life of a Taurus between the 1st and the 15th of February? Are you guys accepting and embracing the changes that spirit is kind of throwing? <laughs> Tennis balls at you to make you accept, but just know that you are protected, baby. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, how you doing? I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. <laughs> I cuss. Make us a little, make us a lot. Just depend on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but if I see it, I'm going to say it, I'm going to cuss. All right? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can better assist you without cussing. And I still love you a long time. All right? To those of you who are new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. Hey, boo. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. We don't fight and we don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss, all right? We share, we love, we grow, we evolve. Positive shit only, all right? We a family. We live dysfunctional. We even cry sometimes, you know? But it's all right. We take it and we keep it moving. You guys, this is simply a general. It's not a personal. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. This, again, will be for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign. I'm sorry, for the 1st to the 15th of February, 2019. I currently have a Valentine's Day special going on for two questions, $25, uh, 15 minutes. And you can find that information in the description as well. It's actually on the community tab. And it's going to be going on into the 3rd. Well, all that information on the community. Look, I don't post this shit for nothing, okay? Family, shit. All right, but I love you all. Um, while I was actually <laughs> meditating on your energy, guys, um, what I did here, though, was catalytic situations. I heard dreams. I heard um, visions. I heard partnership. I heard revelation. And I also heard embracing. So you guys, you really need to embrace what it is that spirit is trying to bestow into your lives because I feel like for some of you all, it don't feel so damn beautiful while it's happening. But later on, you will see why it had to happen the way that it did it did because you guys were kind of resisting making moves. I do feel the energy of stagnancy as far as either feeling stuck or um, feeling stagnant. I would not be surprised if that damn hangman falls out because the hangman kept wanting to fall out. So some of y'all could also be going through this with the Pisces, okay? So <clears throat> your first message comes from the Doreen Virtue Crystal Angel Oracle deck, all right? Um, it is Sherry Oak, Spiritual Protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. All right? So let's go on. Just know, Taurus, again, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you. You will understand the changes that are kind of going to be coming into your life at a later time. But right now, it's just for you to actually go through, go through the actual process to build a greater understanding wisdom that's going to move you to your purpose. For some of you all, it's a catalyst situation to move you uh, to your actual life purpose. And just know that you are being spiritually guided and protected during this time, all right? So you guys also got the wild card as um, the overall theme of the reading. And so I definitely feel like, again, them damn curveballs. Right now, definitely be optimistic and be open to curveballs. Just embrace the things that you cannot control and just be in acceptance of them. And hold your serenity. Hold your peace, Taurus. I'm feeling it until you are. I kept hearing that as well. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. All right? <clears throat> Family, returning subscribers. What the hell y'all been going on? Pause. I had to stop because I just realized I didn't even thank my family. Family, thank you all for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. Y'all, thank you so much. Family who has been here. Y'all, this has been quite the journey. And I got to say, you guys, I'm really, really appreciative for all of you because just like you guys learn from me, I learn from you all. Taurus, I noticed that, and I had to talk. Let's talk about it because we family. I noticed that. You guys' views with my fixed signs, with the exception of Aquarius, has kind of gone down tremendously. Now, in the comments, because I'm not a, I'm not all, I don't be in my feelings like that. I'm an Aries, Sun, Pisces, Moon, but I got a Libra rising and Gemini Venus, so I'm pretty much straight shot. All shots, no chases. Would you mind, would you guys kind of mind commenting below and letting me know what it is about my energy, you know, that you all just really, we don't, well, well where's the missing piece? It's, do you guys feel like I be fussing at y'all? Because I've had, had somebody say, well, Mocha, I feel like you be fussing. I'm not fussing. 
And I only tell you because I love you. Because Taurus, for some reason, you guys are very assertive. You guys are very good at whatever it is that you touch. And I feel that a lot of y'all have a bunch of yes people around y'all. And this is not the fucking season of the yes man. Because Mocha love you, I will get the belt. Understand that, all right? Yes, I, I've always been. I, Mocha was raised, you know, in the suburban hood, okay? So with that said, I've always been the mommy of the hood. So I don't know no other way to be but to be assertive and not only that to be just straight up front about what it is that i'm trying to say because who got time to be sugarcoat shit y'all know y'all like to get money y'all ain't got time to be listening to people shit all day so i try to make you know you guys videos short and sweet you know i can't win that way then i try to you know kind of give you guys that little motherly approach because that's just naturally who the hell i am i'm authentic to myself so i gotta give you that you know and it's well that don't work so what what is it that i can assist you with to get my point across with you guys because i truly truly want to connect with you all because this is a big year for Taurus, leo scorpio and aquarius and i really 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 want to connect with you all better i i don't know you know that that's my compromise to you all comment below and be as honest as you can I ain't blocking nobody. I ain't, we family. If you could tell me by myself, if I could tell you about yourself, you damn, I sure ought to be able to tell me by myself, right? Right. It's only fair. Let's get it. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Tauruses in love? Okay, that, that came out fast. Some of you guys could be um, moving forward. You guys, please excuse baby Joker. He loves him, mommy. So I'm going to have to try and structure the cards around him because I've pushed him out my video a few times and he just ain't going. He ain't going. He's Sagittarius. You know how they y'all dealing with Sagittarius. You know how they is. They want to do what they want to do. He also be having little, uh, he also be, I don't know if he be astral projecting. I don't know what he be doing, but he may be running and barking and stuff in his sleep. Don't, don't mind him. He sleep, y'all. It scared the hell out of me one night. Don't mind it. I don't want it to scare y'all, but he does it. So, just giving you the full warning. <laughs> what can my babies, my tourists expect? All right. So definitely movement forward, okay? Some of you guys are coming out of this coming out of this um internal illusion that you're painting with yourself that you have to be stuck in your situations that you're in because possibly you have children and families with people. Um some of you guys are possibly moving forward either towards a Gemini or away from one. I feel that you guys have been working uh working on a relationship or working on building a firm foundation, possibly again, yes, do two children. This could also have to do with the Leo or just a simple new beginning. Some of you guys could also be uh moving during this time, having to do with work. All right. But I feel like for some of y'all, you're not going to tell the person that you with. I feel that and some of y'all could also be starting a new beginning with the Pisces person or a Scorpio person. Or there is um, some type of deception or some type of secret that's being revealed during this time uh, that's going to move you towards. Looks like for some of y'all moving, some of y'all uh, possibly could have been um, connecting with someone while you were at work in the past. Or someone who works with you. Some of y'all could be finding out that someone who you connect with around work could be having a child, okay, for you. Maybe if there's a connection where you travel or some sort. Um, because I'm feeling like this has to do, this has distance around it. And some of y'all could actually find out that you have a child being born that, from someone who lives out of state. But this is only going to catapult you forward from a situation that you were kind of internally conflicted about moving forward from anyway, okay? You need to, this is going to, yeah, this is going to push you forward to take that leap of faith. For some of you all, this is having to do with the sign of Aries. I see the sign of Gemini and Leo here very strongly, okay? But I do see truth, okay? Truth being revealed. For some people, this could actually be being revealed through dreams, either through you or your lover. Um, but I do see, or this could also be being revealed through some form of uh, message, child support papers, um, divorce papers. I am seeing someone um, receiving I am, I'm seeing someone receiving some type of information that it's regarding having to do with some type of legalities, okay? Um, and they're definitely <laughs> legalities. This could be a, this, yeah, y'all, this could definitely be involving a Leo or someone where there was a third party situation. And I feel like this could also have to do with work. I feel strongly for those of you who are dealing with somebody who travels for work, don't be surprised if your ass gets some child support papers or some type of legal, some, some type of papers, um, that ties two people together and it's like uh i feel a domino effect happening to us you guys it's time to be honest and for some of you all this is actually going to be the catalytic situation to move you forward out of the out of out of partnerships that you're not supposed to be in to be honest with you yeah some of y'all could have been dealing with the aries and a leo person okay and this is going to be coming out but 
I feel like either you or your partner is going to move forward and take a leap of faith because I feel the spirit, this is a divine intervention to assist people in movement because people are not following their intuitions here. I feel that for some of you all, you're very passionate about this beginning with this person, even if it's some form of a third party. Some of y'all could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but there is a sense of newness happening for someone. And this could definitely involve the mother or father of a child. You could already have children with this person, Taurus, but I do feel that there's a third party baby coming in. For some of y'all, you're going to be finding this out through the legal system. Okay? I am here in paternity, so there could be some type of paternity uh, paternity issue, a paternity test that's needing to be given, and someone could be sending that through the mail or getting some type. Some of y'all going to need a lawyer, period. Okay? And this has to do with you leaving someone out in the cold, okay, or someone feeling as if, you know, they're not enough. For some of you all, this could have to do with an Aquarian person, Aquarius. But I definitely feel that movement there is movement and you guys it's infinite for this change to occur some of you guys it's about you being truthful about what it is that you're passionate about some y'all are moving away from jobs some y'all are leaving jobs um some y'all some y'all not gonna tell y'all damn partners that you finna leave your ass just not never coming home and you're gonna send their ass a long text message like look i can't do this shit no more i'm tired you and me just are not aligned anymore you know Taurus. This is some crazy shit happening here. The fact that I have, it ends with the star card. So you get what it is that you want. And it is going to be something that actually balances balances your world out. Brings you balance. And movements to, well, pretty much in, in route to expansion. But I definitely feel that there is truth and clarity. Some of you guys is going to um, possibly involve you cutting out a Sagittarius person. Or cutting off a marriage. Some of y'all are moving away from a marriage. Releasing yourself. You're saying, I will still be here. I'll still be, I will still be that father or great that, that boss. I'm still gonna be the provider, but I'm not going to be here because this no longer fulfills me. I've been patient long enough. Some of y'all y'all taking a leap of faith. Entering into entering into um a partnership with the Libra. This could be something that started off as a sexual connection for you, Taurus, but it grew into something solid, love, partnership. Yeah. For some of you all, I, I, this fell on the Emperor card. So for those of you who are dealing with um, Aries or the sign of Virgo, I do feel that there is love there. But either this is a transformation in love happening with an Aries person after a third party situation and someone feeling that lack or feeling as if they're not enough or some type of deception being revealed about a child. I do feel that there is love there, but there is also. That's one of those curveball situations if you're dealing with Aries or Virgo, because I ultimately feel that. Taurus, you're in your head and you're keeping your feelings to yourself about the situation because you ultimately know in your soul that this person is going to leave you out and you have some type of abandonment issue. Some of you guys are truly needing to meditate and ground yourself because you're really overthinking this versus making movement. Why is the sun card here? What is this newness? Yeah, has to do with a family situation. For some of you all... You're leaving someone to start new, some type of solid structure, and it's, it is fulfilling. It's what you actually manifest. It's what you wish for, something stable, something solid. Again, something stable, something solid. For some of you all, this is involving the Pisces, but it's something that is going unnoticed or unseen or below the surface. Why is the lovers here? Some of y'all have mentioned twin flame, and you didn't tell your partner that you you have to choose between a twin and a soulmate. For some of you all, some of y'all could be finding out that um, there's a Gemini that's pregnant, one Aries. Some of you guys, you just can't tell somebody you just don't want to be there anymore. It's an illusion, Taurus. You have nothing to fear but fear itself. Yeah. Yeah, the justice is the revelation of this third party situation. For some of you, this could be coming through your dreams, but there's definitely a third party. And for some of you all, it's having to do with the mother or father or someone's children. This could also have to do with Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. 
Some of you guys want something solid with the fire sign. And however, you could have moved away from someone without telling the person that you with, you know, that you had an affair. This person ended up pregnant. Now this person is kind of coming for your head, trying to, you know, tear up your family. And ultimately, for some of y'all, this is Mother Karma at her best. I got to be honest. Why is, why is the Five of Pentacles here with the Three of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah. For some of you all, again... You're resisting or you, you were kind of like fighting for someone to find out for something. You've literally been hiding some shit to the best of your abilities, trying to anyway. And Spirit is saying it has to be revealed. Why is the food card here? Yeah. You're afraid of someone, possibly an Aries person. You're afraid of someone actually leaving you out in the cold. This could be something that you and someone discussed in the past. And maybe you didn't tell them the truth or they didn't tell you the truth towards both of the truth is coming out with that ace of swords. Yeah. But some of you all, this could have to do with the, um, this could have, some of y'all are moving away from being in and out of the life of, um, a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But some of y'all have to tell, some of y'all gonna have to leave an earth sign in the cold because of it, because of expansion. In the family situation. Why is. Thank you. Yeah. And some of you all are really done trying to put in the work. Trying to renew a situation that you feel is dead. Possibly with an air sign. You are moving forward. Some of you all want to equally give and take with an Aquarius person. You feel that this person balanced you while you manifested this. And for some of you all, yeah, for some of you all who have, some of y'all have a, have a fear of being alone, being by yourself. And you're really having to stop resisting spirit's assistance and trying to bring you healing to that vibration. You need to make a judgment call if someone's going to make a decision on if they're going to go or they're going to stay during this time towards. For some of y'all, it's with the Sagittarius. Some of y'all are having to make a decision regarding the Sagittarius and someone who you have a child with as well as a current relationship. Do I move forward and have this solid beginning here? Okay. Or do I offer my cup of love but still be willing to, but still be having to be accountable for my decisions and the, the choices that I made here? Because I know that this person is going to have a very hard time with bouncing back and trusting me like that. So I do see overall inner conflict. Making a decision to not make a decision, kind of being in your damn head, fearing that whole, you know, fearing that whole, this is you or your partner, feeling that whole um, rejection. Why was I not good enough? What did I do? What did I have that that person had? But spirit is saying, this is the most guaranteed card in the deck, baby. Love is here. Your boss, act accordingly. Love is here. Whether it's transforming a current relationship or moving forward. And, and transforming a current relationship but there wasn't open communication. There was a lot of underlying secrets. There was a lot of things being hidden under, hidden under the moon. I definitely feel that Spirit is saying be vulnerable or be willing to not be selfish and let this person go find love since you don't want to give them that overall commitment because you want it. There can be harmony in this situation, but there needs to be truth and clarity in order to transmute the love, okay? And for others, you have new love on the horizon, and this catalytic situation has to happen to release you from um, that, that, that mental burden of you feeling like you was obligated to a situation where there is no damn commitment. Y'all just, y'all just doing it all the time. And having, and, and sharing, and, and having some sense of common ground when it comes to practicality, but it's not moving. And you want that movement, but maybe that damn horse is dead and you got to stop beating it, baby. Okay? So this is what I have for my sources between the 1st and the 15th of February. I pray that it resonates, you guys. Please comment and let me know 
was tea. And remember what we talked about at the beginning. Let's let's work together towards because I love y'all and I want to be able to connect and truly, truly, truly connect with you guys um, in a way that you know it doesn't offend you. It doesn't make you feel like oh Mocha beating us down because I don't. I love y'all. I love all y'all. You know. And so with that said. Many blessings, you guys. Much abundance. Namaste. I wish you well. Y'all let me know. This is some this is a hot mess. But it's for your greater good, y'all. I love you. Bye y'all.